So what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. A lot of new subscribers lately, so thank you for that. If you're not if you're not subscribed already, consider hitting the subscribe button down below because we're doing some pretty cool stuff here, like moving cows today. And a lot of people have sent in questions asking, is it really that easy to move cows? The answer is yes, it really is. I mean, hey, I didn't know before I got out here that, you know, we can move the cows this easy. So today we're gonna go through the whole moving process of moving the cows to their next day's paddock. So follow along. Step one, turn off the energizer so you don't get shocked. Step two, roll up the wire that you want them to move to, right here. Now that we have a gate, step three, call the cows. Hey, cow cows, come on. Hey, cow cow cows, come on cows. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Here, cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Good girl. Come on, Yoli. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Why is not there anymore? Come up. Come on, cows. And they go down to eat right away. There we go. Look at the other two. Come on, cows. And here comes Yoli and Ellie pulling up the rear. Daphne, for some reason, that one over there is always the last one to move. Well, these two, they see grass, they eat it. And, ta-da. They are moved. Because all I'm going to do is roll up that wire right here to that fence post and they're good. There is nothing that cows love more than fresh grass. So they'll get this area today and then tomorrow we'll just come out here and pick up those fence posts here. Now the last step is to make sure that they have water and right now they have enough for about a half a day. But I built a watering system to where we have a water line going all the way from over there, all the way across the field. And right now we're just tapping into it and getting water here. Now, has it always been that easy? No, 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 no. There's a learning curve to, you know, getting the cows trained to you moving them. The way we did that was getting some alfalfa pellets and the cows will come to a bucket. They'll come running to a bucket. We've had them get out a couple times and they've been on the complete other side of the farm, probably at least 2000 feet away. I shake the bucket, calling them, man, they come running. So once you have them trained to that, oh, it's super, super easy. Now, also, this isn't always set up like this. What we did was, this is where they were, this area was where they were yesterday. That area down by the fence, the day before, day before, day before. Now what I do, it takes me about half an hour to set up, maybe about, I don't know, almost two weeks worth of paddocks. We use these step-in posts to run all the way down to create its own section. Then we go and section it off crosswise, and this will give us right now about three days because it's not raining right now at all, and the grass really isn't growing, so we really want to slow them down a bit. So this right here, this hole, it's about, I would say about a sixth of an acre. This will last them three days. And what we've done is set up one, two, three, four lines, just like this to give their own sections, and then we just cross fence it off. And they're good. Now, we keep their water here. Their water can really stay in the same place because they don't need a back fence for four days. That's when the grass starts growing again, and that's when the parasites start, you know, coming up. We move them so the grass can grow back and grow back even stronger and then they don't get any parasites. And then we'll move them over there in two days and all we have to do is drag their tanks right over there, fill them up. Working on an automatic watering system, there's a few little leaks in the one that I built so I don't want to uh, to have the water running all the time with the, with the little bit of leaks in there. Just gotta, you know, just gotta shore those up right now. It took about half an hour to set up these sections so half an hour every almost two weeks and then come out here five minutes a day and roll up the the cross fence there it really is that easy to move cows they're like dogs you call them and they come it's pretty crazy some people do it with the whistle some people do it with 
I don't know what. Sometimes cows will even come to the sound of a truck because they know they're going to feed them. With it taking as little time as it does to move them, why wouldn't you move them every day or at least maybe once a week? That way, they're not eating next to their own poop. I mean, it reduces the parasites, it keeps the grass growing back better. It's just a win all around. Look, Daphne's happy. Why? Because she's got brand new fresh grass this morning. And then, if, I, if for whatever reason I give them too small of a section, all I have to do is come out here in the afternoon and roll up that wire they got a new section it takes no time it takes like zero time it's so awesome it's fun just being out here with them and yes it does take some planning it does take some you know infrastructure with the fence and the water line but oh my gosh it's so easy i know i only have five cows right now we have two more coming real soon and probably in the winter time we'll probably be getting quite a few more probably double the size of this but i mean these are the best cows i love them so easy, they're fun, fun to be around. They get to scratch their head on a little bush there that'll probably be eaten, why? Longhorns, they eat a little bit more than the regular cow. And I have a feeling that bush will be at least taken halfway down by the end of the day, if not completely broken off because Daphne is just going to town on it, using it as a scratching post. You can see the difference from where they were yesterday to where they are today. They really ate and trampled a lot of it. They probably ate a third, probably trampled a third, and probably left a third just standing. So, perfectly done, I would say. Perfectly, perfectly done. Now, we'll probably go through, like on this side over here, and mow behind them, because there's some stuff that, in the pasture, that we don't necessarily want, because the cows won't eat it, and really nothing will eat it. So, we'll go through and clip it off. And after doing that for at least a year, maybe two, possibly three, this stuff should be gone. The cows fertilizing like crazy will make all the good grass, like this stuff right there, grow up. See, that's right there exactly what we want them to do. They're trampling the goat weed, which is nothing will eat that. And then look over here. <coughs> they broke this guy off too. I don't know what that is, but they don't like this one either. But because we have them mobbed up, they can't go around it all the time, and they trample it, and what I'll do is I'll just come here and step on it myself. Like I said, we'll mow behind it to make sure that doesn't pop back up. Yeah, they're doing great. And always remember, the number one thing that you can put in your body or your animal's body is good, clean water. So I hope this answers your question. Yes, it really is easy to move cows, especially when you have the infrastructure there and you have cows like Betty right there that just love to be moved. I think all cows love to be moved, but just you gotta let them know what, you just have to let them know what you're wanting them to do. And when they see me come out here, they'll even start moving towards the next spot that they think that they're going to, just to, for me to roll up the wire, walk on through, they do their thing, take care of their water situation. And it's that simple. I mean, they're just good cows. So I think we'll end it right there. Just a quick one today. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And drop a comment if you like, all right? And we'll see you on the next one, all right? Thanks. Bye. Hey, Ellie. that is yours. Give me. Give me, bro. Come on. Get it. <laughs>